rock might have some work or something. Are you the one I saw running away from the run into spacers. Calculating and orbit stabilizing. Perfect. Please tell me you're here to help, not to try and steal my ship. Welcome aboard, Deputy. Sorry if I can't give you the Grand Tour just yet. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Thanks. I owe you one.
Thanks. That should get me home. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. They look to be heading for Polvo's moon Miatha. Good hunting. What can I help you with? position and we are now in stable orbit
active space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Scan complete. You're clear to land. I don't want to hear any Oh, the same as usual. Hey. Keep an eye on your valuables. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the Starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. I'm guessing the Marshal already told you this, but I'll say it anyway. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech. He's on the Council of Governors. The Council oversees the Freestar Rangers, so don't rile him up. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. All the way up. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn, good to see you. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Freestar Ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Oh, justice must be done, 
And the sooner the better. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me. What does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help. But, I'll answer whatever questions I can. Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more? Every starship thief in the settled systems who would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now, you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust, and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope. There's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon. Which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? dust except for the factory. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place.
He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. Yes, what? Off-worlders. Nothing good ever comes from them. I just want to get all these approvals over with. Just keep it holstered and we'll get along fine. stars and the vastness of space. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets. Even from us. Yeah, about that. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. Come on. That 
was pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learned quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here... But you that understand. That's a bad place for tourists these days. That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, and you'll fit right in. stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic as it is. A second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Sure. <laughs> Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Hmm. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. From where I'm standing, seems like our problems are intertwined like a couple of fuel lines in a thruster assembly. Not happening. What? You might be... I... Wait... No... What am I saying? Huh... That makes a lot of sense, now that I think about it. I do understand. I'm trying to figure out a way to help you, okay? Okay, okay. Had to try, right? The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Well, what about me? You just gonna leave me twisting in the wind here? If I were you, I'd get the hell out of Neon and start over somewhere else. Star Ranger and his what are you a sidekick or something well I'm sure your mama's real proud 
So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Aw, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? That's unfortunate. But I don't know anything about it. Can't say I'm surprised, though. You know how it is out here. The strong take what they want from the weak. You're real cold-blooded, aren't you? If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. It... It's not that simple. I think... That you may be right. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time that was a few weeks ago haven't heard from her since no but it sounded serious she was upset seemed kind of shaken you know didn't seem right i should pry so i didn't not long after that i got a message from a guy named marco he said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here. Take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? No. Nothing at all. Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, deputy. Then I'm free to go. Oh. Uh... You're welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Okay. Hello.
location Welcome of the feedback checks base. out. We're in the right place. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. And that's it. Enjoy that Aquila City air. Nobody's allowed outside the city walls every night. Well, hey there. Welcome to the Rock, I guess. Just making my way. If you're looking for the Rangers, check the upper left. Good to see you. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Let's talk for a minute. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is, a start. What did you learn from the starship thief? Well done, Deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Like what? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. 
Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome, so be careful. Good hunting, deputy.